in a, in a, in a habitated planet, would you, if you could travel to any reality? Okay, I don't understand the question. Si podría viajar a un planeta inhabitable. Inhabitable, ¿cuál sería? Inhabitado. Es inhabitable, no quiero viajar ahí. Pleno. I would. I wouldn't travel. I would travel, yeah. No, no, inhabitado. Pero que se pueda habitar. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. No, I prefer don't. If you could learn one skill, what would you what it what would it be? If you could learn one skill, what what would it be? Hmm. See, I, I would like to I, I I I want to sing. I want to be a singer. I would like, like to to speak like in in Arabic. Arabic. Wow. What for? To learn, to learn the to learn to, to, to write like hieroglyphics, you know. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy, but nice. <laughs> Queen of a, or a small Country. country what would you do would you like if you be become king. to king or queen okay. what would you do if you became the king <sighs> that's a good question I will. I wouldn't like to be a king. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, but if I but if I could go, if I could, uh, I <laughs> yes. I'm really fine, but I, I'm too much uh, scary. To, uh, to be alone in in some places that I don't know. Uh -huh. You are right. That is why I would like to have a an appointment with Jesus, but face to face. Oh, <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. me muero. <laughs> On one day, <laughs> but not today. And not. It's new for me. Okay. Uh, you, Susana? Um, I would like to travel to Spain, Germany, Israel. Um, A lot of countries. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, you, Rosa Maria? I want to travel. Uh, a French, 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 can help, can help the people. Yeah. Yes, of course. Um, what would you do if you knew this this was your last day to be alive? <laughs> Oops. I don't know. I maybe I maybe uh uh will to spend all my time with my family. Yes, of course. Yes, that I too. love them and that they are the most important. I will spend my day with my son and with my parents and my uh -huh. husband. 
to have yeah. like a very peaceful day, no telling. To have wow. a happy day, maybe at the beach or something like that, because I love the beach. You know and what? And spend the, a lot of money, leave them my money. <laughs> Okay, good. What do you know? What would I prefer to do? Um, I would like to that if this is my last day of uh, to be alive, um, everybody of my family it will be the same because we have to go together. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. You finished? Yes, we yeah. finished. All right. Thank Let's you. Let's go Claire. back. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Janet, by the way, uh, Sandra, I was trying to correct you so on something too. When you say can, don't use to, okay? I can go, I can travel, I could travel, or I would travel. So all of the modals can, could, would, should, don't require to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just the verb and the modal. All right. That's yes. a piece of advice. Yes, teacher. I'm all right. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Let's go. Thank you. This is where we are, and we're going to practice this now. I have a question for you. Guys, some of you, I think some of you misunderstood this question. Look at it. It says, if you could date anybody, if you could go on a date. Go on a date means eh, tener una cita, but romantic date, okay? That's what it means. And when you say, hey, I am dating... Pablo, Pedro, Pica, Pedro, whoever, when you say and Pablo or something, you're saying eh, andamos con Pablo, right? Somos novios. That's what it means when you say dating. But go on a date is tener una cita, okay? Go so you, who date. would you like to go on a date with if you could choose anyone? Okay. Go but I'm not going to answer that question because it's a lot of crushes, mm -hmm. actors, actresses. No, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we don't need to know that. Mm -hmm. But, um, but let me see. If you could speak English perfectly, what would you do, guys? That I'm interested in knowing. What would you do if you could speak English uh, perfectly? Tell me. Volunteers. I would sing uh, all the songs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Break <Right>, go. <laughs> yes. What else? Anybody else wants to share? If I spoke a uh, perfect English, I would like to be an interpreter. Ah, uh, yeah, I have heard that answer from you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> we can answer any question. Yeah. Uh, if you could speak English perfectly, what would you do? That's the question. Oh. Mm, the second. The second one. In my I case, will teacher, get a better job. Yep, okay. I, I will, will apply teach. for a better job. <laughs> I will teach this. Mm. Oh, you want to teach English? That's good. It is fun. And you, Joaquin, sorry, you wanted to speak. Yes, I would like to, to teach in, in at school. And what would you teach? Yes. What subject? English? <laughs> no, art school. Art school. Art. art. Yes. Yeah, that's good. But hey, Camila, for example, well, anybody, guys, I think in general, the majority of you want to get a better job with English, yeah. right? So yeah. you're because very they pay, close. they pay better. Yeah, no more. And if it's combined with something else, even better. So if you speak English and you're an engineer, or you speak English and you are a yeah, secretary, it doesn't matter. Yeah, of course. No, but what I'm trying to tell you is you're very close from 
reaching that point because uh, in general, your English guys, uh, the majority of you is good. And this is intermediate three. So continue guys, the rest of the year, try to improve studying. And yeah, maybe next year you can get a better job. But if you stop now, yep, it's not gonna happen. Okay. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that <laughs> motivational <laughs> work. <laughs> Just yeah. in the, the no, but you're very very close from getting that so yeah that's what i wanted to say now we're gonna okay. see some antonyms okay uh, let me see hold on to know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite listen carefully and repeat Accept. 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 Hey, Joaquin, remember it. <laughs> yeah, when you have the little T, you're going to pronounce it like in Spanish, Accept. Right? Ac Accept. No, ac Accept. 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 Yes. Like dirección in Spanish, right? Acción. Accept. Admit. 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 Yeah, don't emphasize that. Okay. Agree. 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 Borrow. 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 Deny. Borrow. Deny. 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 Disagree. Disagree. Dislike. Dislike. Like. Divorce. The boss. Enjoy. Hi, Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. Welcome. Back. <laughs> Thank you. Borrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this internet, this is the second time it happens, but you're in different groups, and if it happens, it happens. I don't know, this internet is pretty bad today. And so you were repeating after me, and we were saying, uh, borrow, deny, right? Deny, deny yes. Disagree. Disagree. Yes. Disagree. Dislike. 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 Divorce. 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 Enjoy. 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 Find. 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 Forget. 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 Mary, refuse, remember, remember, save, 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 Don't say save, 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 Fan. Fan. save, 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 Simple as that. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. Uh, what's the invitation, please? I will send you. Admit. I will send you a picture. Agree.
Yes. Okay, so the first one, the second one is admit. Uh -huh. Admit. And the opposite of mm -hmm. admit. Deny. Deny. Yeah. Admitir. Oh, denegar. Or no. Deny. Or accept. Negar. Deny. Or denegar. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Admit. This is. Admit. Eh, add me y deny. Agree, disagree. Forget, remember. Uh -huh. Divorce, marry. Fine. Divorce, uh, marry. Marry, divorce. Looks fine. Lend save. Hmm? save. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what is the correct pronunciation on, on this list. It's loose, loose or loud? Loose for me. Loose. Okay. Loose. loose. No, loose. Okay. Is fast. Fine. Loose. Last. Fine. Loose. Okay. For what else? Denny, what is the deny? Deny. 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 Enjoy. <laughs> what is what is the opposite? Enjoy. Dislike. 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 Okay. I think it's like. Yeah, it could be. What is the uh, what is the mean borrow? Aburrido. No. Aburrido. no. Oh, or, or uh, borrow enjoy. No, borrow is tomar prestado. Oh, um, okay. borrow. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. it's for yeah. Can you borrow me? It's true. Sorry. <laughs> no, can you lend me? Es que dar prestado y tomar prestado. Borrow is when you take it in. Lend is when you give it. Dar prestado y tomar prestado. Lend, okay. borrow. They're different. Oh, okay. okay. Cuando yo lo presto es... Lend. Lend. Cuando me lo presto lo es da borrow. Prestado. Da prestado. Okay. <laughs> no se confunde. Uh, can, you, can you repeat, teacher, this, this word? I, I understand lend is prestar. Dar prestado. Okay. So, no, yeah. I can press that in Spanish, guys, means the two things. That's the problem. So you're going to get confused. Okay. Si yo presto es lend, no. si me prestan es borrow. No, wait. Pre dar prestado. Dar prestado, okay? Lend. lend. Tomar prestado, borrow. Ah, oh, okay, okay. 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 Borrow and lend. Okay. Did you finish? Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Maybe. Yes. I <laughs> you think so? All right, let's go. In progress. All right. What words did you find, guys? Let me write them here for everyone. Uh, some of you had a mix up. We're going to see. Look, guys, I would like you to take note of this in case it is confusing because the problem is that these mean the same in Spanish, right? They mean prestar y prestar, the same thing. But you can write like this say, dar prestado, and borrow is tomar prestado, okay? 
That is the difference. So you don't get confused. Anyway, what is the um, opposite of admit? Deny. Deny, awesome. The opposite of agree is? Disagree. Disagree. Yeah, disagree. Those were easy. Opposite of dislike? Enjoy. 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 Opposite of um, forget. Remember. 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 Remember to let it under your heart. <clears throat> Refuse. Oh, it's already here. Uh, spend. Save. 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 Marry. Divorce. 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 Lou? Fine. 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 Actually, Fine. You know what? Some of you were asking for the pronunciation of this. It's actually Lou. 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 Imagine, right? Lou. 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 Which has the, yeah, that's pronunciation. Lou and? Uh, Fine. 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 Find it's fine here. I don't see. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. And we're just missing one, which is enjoy. Enjoy. It's already here. Yeah, Land and borrow. And borrow. Borrow. Good job, everyone. Okay. All right. <laughs> see. All done. We're almost gonna finish all of this. <clears throat> I think we'll do maybe one activity if we have, if we have it here. Mm. Yep, this is gonna be our topic tomorrow. If we have time. Are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Jo <clears throat> Take notes guys, because we're gonna study this topic tomorrow. It's very, very important and it's kind of advanced. So it's like one step before advanced, something you have to know. Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Oh, wow. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. <coughs> Number one, your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Number two, you saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Yeah, we're not going to do those, but this is important. Plus, in <clears throat> past modals are very simple in conjugation because what you have to use is write a modal. I mean, obviously, the subject, right? Subject plus any modal that could be should, could. My, may, 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 and then present perfect. Present perfect. Obviously, guys, present perfect. How do you form present perfect? You say have gone, for example, right? 
Okay. Yes. But you cannot say has gone because after a model we use what? The verb is infinitive. The base form of the, the verb. Base form and no true, guys. There's no true. Okay, after a model. So yeah, it's very simple, but it's all it this is almost considered advanced. Okay, so be careful and be in class tomorrow, okay? Because we're gonna study it. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you guys. See you. Good night. 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 Good night.